today we are going to see morphology and microscopy of wasaka leaf and this uh, thing we are going to see by practical aspects so most of the time while doing the practicals of morphology and microscopy we are unaware about most of the things here again my blog is there where you can download the ppt as well as practicals uh, of this same, practical of the same so here uh, we know that wasaka it is a medicinal plant uh, being a pharmacy student we know that it is a medicinal plant it is very commonly known as adulsa and some marketed preparations are also available as an adulsa syrup it is found in india and nearby countries and grown as an ornamental because it gives a white flower and is sharp so which is mainly planted in garden as well as backyard of house medicinally it is a dried as well as fresh leaves of adathoda wasaka belong to family acanthiaceae Uh, my morphology we are going to see color order taste size shape extra feature so uh, as the part of the plant changes the extra feature has changed so being this is part of leaf here the extra feature would be apex base margin venation and presence of pedal pedicle and not so this is what in morphological characteristics among these characteristics uh, three characteristics are subjective characteristic and three characteristics are objective characteristics color order taste considered to be a subject to characteristic because they changes from person to person i may feel this is a pale green some may feel it is yellowish green so that that is what an perception so depending upon the perception of subjects so they are known as subjective parameters or subjective characteristic well objective characteristics they are not uh, change with the subject they are retain permanent with the object so they are nothing but size shape and extra feature so as we have been discussed just now the extra feature for the leaves are different so i mentioned over name over here so being in color it is a green uh, when it is fresh when it is a dried it is a dull brown to light brown in color well wood is characteristic test is bitter being an alkaloidal containing drug length and width here length is 10 to 30 cm and width is 3 to 10 cm uh, so it is a big leaf shape is ovate as well as lanceolate lens like then uh, margin is slightly crenate so you find a slight dents uh, very small or dented margins that is called as crenate margin as well as it shows such kinds of pattern it is known as sinuate margin apex is acuminate acuminate means so if you divide this leaf into half from half it start to taper it so that is tapering it so it is known as acuminate texture is thin presence of pedicle so it is known as petiolate as well as base is slightly asymmetrical while venation you will find it is a reticulate reticulate means it forms a network when you see it against the light you find there is a network of the vein and venlets so such kinds of venation is known as the reticulate venation so see this is how the venation looks this is known as apex this is known as margin this is base and this is pedicle now we are going to see the microscopy before studying the actual microscopy we need to be study uh, the general ts of leaf so general ts of leaf uh, here we can uh, we can be studied as the general ts of the leaf into two parts that is one is midrib part so from where the main vein runs and this is what in uh, leaf blade it is called as lamina part so this is a transverse section uh, which is passing through the midrib so here in lamina parts you will find the different parts so this this is known to be general ts because they are divided of different leaf irrespective of example of leaf these are the parts shows the presence of presence of in it okay so uh, as we can say it is present in almost all the leaf so it is very necessary to we know what is general ts of leaf while before studying the actual ts of the leaf so in general ts lamina general characteristic what it forms cuticle it is nothing but a layer which is present above the epidermis which contain the wax which gives a protection from moisture as well as rainy water and other things epidermis they are tightly arranged parenchymatous cells uh, some somewhere it shows a minute opening that is considered that is known as stomata but stomata doesn't show in a in the ts so it only found in the surface preparation thalassid cells they are columnar cell present below the epidermis they are green in color uh, they contain the chloroplast because of that they show the green in color so thalassid cell there would be a single layer double layer triple layer vary with the example of plant mesophiles are nothing but a polygonal parenchymatous cell which are cellulosic and they show the loosely uh, loosely arranged they show the uh, intracellular spaces followed by the epidermis so again that called as lower epidermis having similar characteristic to the upper epidermis and followed by cuticle in the midrib region it shows same cuticle which is coming from the lamina region then same epidermis coming from the lamina region 
ठीक है हियर अगेन फ्रॉम डाउन साइड लोअर इपिटर मीस लोअर क्यूटिकल देन हियर बिलो द क्यूटिकल बिलो द इपिटर मीस दे डजेंट शो द प्रेजेंस ऑफ पैलासिट सेल रादर दे शो द प्रेजेंस ऑफ वेरी स्मॉल ल्यूमेन थिक वॉल्ड विदाउट एंट्रा सेलुलर स्पेसिस सेल्स दे आर नोन एज कोलेन कैमा वेन इट इज प्रेजेंट एट अपर साइड इज नोन एज अपर कोलेन कैमा वेन इट इज प्रेजेंट एट लोअर साइड इट इज नोन एज लोअर कोलेन कैमा As it is thick wall without intracellular spaces, they are they are considered or they are no responsible for mechanical strain. And at the center, they show the presence of vascular bundle. Vascular bundles are nothing but the bundles of vessels where they show the vessels like xylem, which are dead, lignified, responsible for carrying a water from root to the fruit, and the phloem. They are nothing but responsible for conduction of food. They are non-lignified. they are cellulosic so in the leaf they show only sieve tubes while in case of xylem tissue it only it shows only presence of xylem vessels so what would be the difference then this is a general ts yes, what would what the, the different leaf where they differs so they differs in a trichomes so trichomes are nothing but an extension outgrowth of the epidermis so there might be a covering trichome there might be a glandular trichome again covering trichome there are different types of covering trichome different types of glandular tract stomata so stomata no doubt it it, it simply show the opening but in surface preparation or in powder characteristic it has its own importance for identification of fruit drug while calcium oxalate crystal different size shape it matters again starch they also differs in size and shape cystolith means it's just cell which show the presence of calcium carbonate so that is again a distinguishing characteristic and the fibers fibers would be a pericyclic fiber or it may be it may be a lignified fiber such kinds of fibers may be present so in the general ts the different examples of the plant they differ into by these different characteristics so now we are going to see uh, the uh, different types of leaf so based upon the arrangement of lamina uh, arrangement of the cells in a lamina they are categorized as the dorsi ventral as well as isobilateral you might be seen that dorsal dorsal and ventral surfaces are not similar that is means by dorsi ventral if you see if you cut the lamina from the middle and if you see the arrangement of cell if they are not same then it is called as dorsi ventral here you will find example is a cuticle pink color blue color epidermis palisade then spongy parenchyma while if this pink color is cuticle then blue color is epidermis but here it show the absence of palisade so they are not similar so it is known as dorsi ventral while in case of uh, isobilateral iso means similar bi means two lateral means both the sides so here both the the cells which are being arranged at both the sides upper side and lower sides are similar example is or we can see here if cuticle cuticle then epidermis epidermis palisade palisade and in the middle it is the spongy parenchyma so this is what how it, it they, they, they can be differ or they can be classified as a dorsi ventral and isobilateral now we are actually we are actually see now what is the ts of wasaka so this is the ts of wasaka so this is passing through midrib this is the midrib as i shown by a yellow dotted line sorry red line dotted line and shown by a yellow text that is midrib and this subside to this it is nothing but a lamina so first of all we will see uh, the lamina region similarly epidermis which is cuticle is in uh, here also then followed by the green color cell that is in palatal cell and from that it shows the spongy parenchyma loosely arranged parenchymatous cells almost they are clear or that doesn't show the presence of chlorophyll followed by lower epidermis which is cuticle is okay then uh, here in midrib region it shows the same epidermis extended over here which is cuticle is then cholenchyma which is very small lumen thick wall Uh, very closely arranged uh, non lignified they gives mechanical strain similarly are three to four lines of again cholenchyma which is starting from here to the here uh, doing a similar function that is mechanical strain here at the center it shows i didn't this slide is not we can say stain with the floor glycinol scl but these are the big hole like structure or circle like structure these are nothing but the xylem vessels okay they are responsible for conduction of water they are lignified if you stain with chlorogalicin acyl it gives pink coloration while well, these are very smaller cells which are known to be sieve tubes okay this is a part of phloem responsible for conduction of food and this is the remaining part is very large polygonal parenchymatous cell that is nothing but spongy parenchyma here and here then what is 
what I just mentioned the part, they are the general parts. What is the things which makes it as an Vasaka or what it makes distinguishing characteristic of Vasaka is nothing but presence of trichome. Here you will see three celled trichome. So this is nothing but a multicellular covering trichome. Okay, so here show the stomatite show, but it, it doesn't found in TS, it is a diacetic type of stomata. We will see in the outer characteristic and the presence of the calcium oxalate crystals in the spongy parenchyma. These are the distinguishing characteristics. Now you can summarize or you can write on the paper what are the distinguishing characteristics of Osaka. Yes, you might be written now. So, what are that? Two types of trichome glandular sessile trichome multicellular covering trichome, then calcium oxalate crystals and epidermis with a diacetic stomata. So this is a distinguishing characteristic. Epidermis or we can say thalassite, spongy parenchyma, cholenchyma, these are not the distinguishing characteristic. Among that again in powder characteristics, xylem vessels are distinguishing characteristic. As we know that there are different types of xylem vessels. So here one of the type of xylem vessel is present. So this is powder characteristic. So as I said, it is a multicellular covering trichome. We will find with the blunt end. Okay, then sessile. So this is an epidermis, and here only a small single head is present. Stalk is absent. So glandular trichome made up of head and stalk. Here only head is present. Stalk is absent. So this is sessile glandular trichome. Then calcium oxalate crystal. You will find similar structure over here, which having a sharp edges, which can be easily distinguishable. Then epidermis, wavy walled epidermis. So this is wavy walled epidermis. This is a stoma. These are the guard cells. This is a two. These are the long axis of stomata, and this is a long axis of guard cell. Both are perpendicular. See, this is a long axis, and this is a long axis. If you see, they are cross each other. So that is called as diacetic. They are perpendicular stomata and then this is the lignified xylem vessel so here two types of xylem vessels are present spiral you will find here spiral string like structure as well as here slightly annulated xylem vessels are there this is a typical characteristic so here five types of xylem vessels are present normally that is annular pitted borderly pitted then spiral oblique wall okay so here spiral and annulated xylem vessels are present so this is a powder characteristic. It is no need to be remembered. If you know the in the TS, if you know the in TS, what are the distinguishing characteristics? That characteristics are going to become a powder characteristic. Now, thank you for uh, listening. Uh, you can visit my blog, which is given on the first slide also. Thank you.